Welcome back. Cooking seafood can be intimidating. Yes, for many people. People get nervous when it's time to cook shrimp, especially you know, lobster, scallops. Yeah, so today the Good Dish is dedicating their entire episode to ingredients from the sea. Joining us live with a great shrimp recipe, one of the co-hosts of the Good Dish, Jamika Pessoa. Good morning, Jamika. Hey. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Uh, we are great, and I love the idea of this dish, one of a couple that you're going to talk about today, but people do need some help when it comes to seafood, <laughs> and especially, for instance, sh shrimp, which y you have to cook for just a short period of time. Right? Yes. And the thing is, it's expensive. So you don't want to miss that chance. You got one shot at this. You don't want to <laughs> blow it. <laughs> so I always start off, of course, you can buy the fresh, like you see on the ice in the, in the grocery store on the, at the seafood counter, but save a little money by buying frozen. And when you defrost it, and this is not just for shrimp, this is scallops, lobster, any type of fish, take a paper towel and press out some of that moisture get some that water off the top because when you put it in that hot pan if it's not dry you're going to end up steaming your shrimp and it's going to take longer to cook to get that sear and that nice color on the outside by that time your shrimp is done for it's overcooked so pat it dry before you season it and that will help you in your cooking process a little bit that is a good little tip yeah absolutely and when you think about it i mean fresh shrimp is great but at some point it probably was frozen for a short period of time <laughs> So. At some point, who knows? And I'll also say when you're cooking, don't be afraid of spices. Like I, today I have Moroccan spice shrimp. Really go for it. Don't just do salt and pepper. I have my, I've made my spice blend. So a little kosher salt, coriander, cumin, um, ginger, turmeric, all those spices that are collecting dust in the back of your spice rack. This is what really goes into a Moroccan spice mix. And you'll mix all of that together. And I simply just place it in a bowl with a little olive oil and put it on a preheated sheet pan. Because once again, we want it to be hot going in. We only have a short amount of time. At 450 degrees, this cooks for six to eight minutes. I didn't flip it. Don't do anything because preheating it, it cooks sears on the bottom and then that heat will cook it on the top. Once your shrimp come out, I serve it up with my elevated cocktail sauce, if you will, little ketchup, chili paste, and harissa paste. That's a North African spice, but it's sold in, in just about any grocery store. Look it up. It's got a little bit of heat, a little kick, with some horseradish and some lemon juice. This is the sauce that everybody's going to go crazy for dipping their shrimp in, but just don't double dip. That's the only rule. <laughs> that was always the rule, mm -hmm. but even more so now. Okay, so... I, I love the idea of having the pan hot ahead of time. That's a really good tip too. But when you're buying that fresh shrimp, I have no idea what I should be looking for. Well, here's the thing. You all want to make sure you go for smell, of course, freshness. Um, you can buy them peeled into vein. I leave my tail on. The most important thing is the quality of the shrimp will, will, will tell for itself. When it gets to cooking, that's the most important thing. Here's a little tip. Remember these three letters, J-O-C. When you have raw shrimp, it's the letter J, all right? When you have perfectly cooked shrimp, it's the letter C. Oh. When you get shrimp that turn into the letter O, that is a oh no, you are in the <laughs> overcooked zone. So that's how you can tell. So when you have that hot pan, instead of pressing it and trying to touch it and looking at color, look for the shape. The shape will tell when it's done. The C is correct. That is the perfectly cooked shrimp. This is fascinating. I didn't I know. know any of this. I, really, I, I'm astounded. Okay, so <laughs> that shrimp, and uh, we were talking about how so many fish dishes or seafood dishes are intimidating, uh, and maybe because you really, you're afraid of overcooking, shrimp being mm -hmm. one of them. Uh, can you give us some other, because you obviously know a lot about cooking seafood. What's another, would you say, common mistake that people make when it comes to cooking seafood? Well, I think in terms of the flavor, seafood needs fat. What you really can do, instead of doing just a plain olive oil, bump it up and do clarified butter or ghee. You'll see that in the grocery store, G-H-E-E. -E. That's a clarified butter, and that's really going to give you all that, that buttery goodness flavor. That's what they're using in the restaurants, clarified butter. So if you want to get that same restaurant quality, save a little money, and have dinner on the table, this took six to eight minutes. This is the way to go. Use a little clarified butter in your cooking. That will help your flavor along with all of these spices, too. Great advice, Jamika Pessoa, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Also, I am digging, is it a dress you have on? I, it's making yeah. me feel like I wanna go on vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
It's very problem. I I always get my eating clothes. So see, you never know that I just ate two pounds of shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> we all well, like a little amazing. give around the way. I know, I love it. Great. Uh, also a good uh, hint there. <laughs> Jamika, a thank pleasure you. meeting you. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> uh, Moroccan shrimp. Uh, don't miss Jamika and her co-host every weekday on The Good Dish. It airs at three on our sister station on Fox 9 Plus. I can't believe all the good tips she just gave. I mean, honestly, yeah. I didn't know anything especially about the it. you know the, the letters I will definitely the next time I cook shrimp I mean, and I, I that that well, recipe look is, for it at rest, restaurants too when they put right. your shrimp down oh hmm. that is a that is just Jamaica an L. said it that this is overcooked <laughs> <laughs> learned a lot